There's an important choice coming involving regenerating our nations, and we owe it to ourselves and our people to know as much as possible. The choice is, do we want to be true nations, or do we want to remain dependent? So what does it take to be a true nation? Well, it takes three things. One of them you probably know a lot about. The first is land. Second is jurisdiction over that land. And that jurisdiction means that you make the rules. The third you may not know about is called fiscal power. And this is where the choice lies. Fiscal power is the government's ability to raise and control its own revenues. If you can't raise the money yourself, you have no fiscal power, which means you have to do what they see, even if you have that jurisdiction. Fiscal power is created by a few things. Firstly, it's created by having an exclusive authority. Government revenue is mostly tax revenue. So the question is, do you collect it or does somebody else collect it for you? And when somebody else collects tax revenue for you, then transfers it to you, you do not enjoy fiscal power. The second way to create fiscal power is through earning potential. And this depends on a lot of different things, but generally, the better your economy and your region's economy, the more money tax authorities generate. Finally, fiscal power is determined by your protection against taxation by other governments. Governments do not tax other governments, but right now, First Nations essentially get taxed through transfers, offset, and revenue caps. Right now, federal and provincial governments have the most fiscal power, followed by the territories and local governments, and finally, First Nations. There are even more moves to reduce our fiscal power. The federal government has talked about moving FMA powers to provincial governments. That would be a giant step backwards and a further erosion of our already limited fiscal power. This can be changed with a new fiscal relationship that goes beyond a system of transfers, greater tax and related expenditure authorities. development and support of our own First Nation institutions. An expansion of FMA tax power so that there are more revenues that we can control and will never be subject to offsets. And finally, new tax powers with less government involvement on things like tobacco, cannabis, uncapped GST, Aboriginal resource tax, income tax, and much more. This is really just a general overview and may seem complicated. That's because it is. Let's get informed, let's ask questions, let's find out why and how fiscal power is important to you and now we can access more of it. This is an historic opportunity. An improved transfer is not enough. We need fiscal power. Premium.